guys please click the subscribe button down here it should be somewhere here click the button and make sure you turn on the bell so that when i post the next video you would be the first to watch so today's video i want to talk about a list of some countries you can actually enter in 2024 so if you are an international student and you are looking for countries you can migrate with family then these are the countries you should put into consideration now remember to, for you to enter these countries, it also depends on what you want to study. It also depends on your budget. It also depends on the program or the level of the program. When I say the level of the program, I'm talking about if the program is a bachelor's program, if the program is a master's program, or if the program is PhD program. I feel a little hot. Let me increase the volume. So please make sure you pay attention to this video and i will be talking about the very first one i will start with the very first country which is australia with australia if you are a phd student you can migrate with your family but remember most phd candidates in australia are fully funded so i will advise you if you want to move to australia you should either be chasing masters or phd but phd will be preferable because if you gain this phd and the scholarship is awarded to you definitely you can move with your family at once remember moving with a family to a foreign country is going to be very stressful and sometimes consumes a lot of money you need a lot of money you need a lot of resources and it drains you at the same point at the same time so please put all this into consideration after this i'm going to talk about for those that i can remember the proof of funds right now i'm going to give you then if there are some details about tuition i will equally give you so you put all this into consideration remember the higher the tuition the more stress you are going to put in because or you will have because you need to now double your proof of funds which is one of the things that you need to do in order to migrate to this country so country number one is australia now let's take a look at country number two which is canada for canada if you already have a bachelor's degree and you have working experience i will advise you to take a look at the pr pathways get your ielts evaluate your results go into the pool and also try to see if you can get the express entry now remember this pr pathway is not something you can really rely on because most of the time um it is the canadian government that is going to do draws and draws usually come sometimes after two weeks but as i'm talking to you the last draw that was done was almost three weeks ago so you never can really rely on this particular uh, pathway which is the pr pathway it is always good that if you are doing this pathway you should also have something else you are doing in all in in which case if any of them is like huge fruits you move immediately now the pr pathway is only for those who have a bachelor's degree already and three years working experience and at least can calculate and are not too old so for those of us who are already above 30 years then i do not think you should only focus on the pr pathway because it might limit your chances it might slow you down to enter canada now the other pathway or the other thing you can do to enter canada easily is to apply as a student apply for a school apply for colleges apply for universities i have a lot of videos on this channel i have been talking long time ago explaining to you the advantages the places to go to easily get pr remember as a student in canada you would definitely still go back to the express entry pool or you might decide to go for canadian experience class which means that you would go in get qualifications get selected apply for pr get pr then before you move to citizenship but it all depends it all starts when you finish your studies you start apply for postgraduate work permit before you reach this other level so what i'm trying to say is work permit do not apply for a school that does not have a dli most importantly the dli then when you get admissions now all you need to do is to put your documents together proof of funds a home ties letter of explanation supporting documents and you apply for the visa and you are good to go but remember for canada you need a lot of money for canada proof of funds you need your entire tuition fee 
you are leaving cost money which is ten thousand dollars and miscellaneous assuming your tuition fee is fifteen thousand dollars a year and your program is two years you need thirty thousand dollars plus ten thousand canadian dollars for living costs then miscellaneous three to four thousand dollars so if you look at this that money is close to like maybe 15 to 16 million now how are you going to get this money assuming you do not have the money it will be easy for you to move but again this is the best option if you can move with your family fine but remember the stress is also one point one thing you should consider because moving with family on the first go especially when you are the lady because i know kids are attached to their mothers so well so if you are the man and you guys don't have a kid let's say you and your wife you don't have a kid then that is fine you can go in because the both of you are adults you can always cope no matter what but if you have children i will advise you to go in first but if you really lead to move with your family then canada is the best option for you as of now if you ask me i would say canada and not australia and it depends on the person like i said the finance your choice of country and a whole lot of other factors so put this into consideration now another country you can migrate to with family is finland so if you are targeting finland for 2024 i didn't explain to you that canada is already open and accepting applications in some colleges and some universities so put this into consideration if you are looking at finland for 2024 note that the general application for finland is going to begin in january it's going to start january that's when the joint application will open again there was a joint application but that one was just for bachelor's students students who want to study bachelor's definitely this one that is going to open for um very soon by january 2024 would be for everybody masters and bachelor's so make sure you apply to finland finland is accepting families that is to say if you have an admissions to study in any university, being it the University of Helsinki, Toku University, or Savonia University of Applied Sciences, or Novia University of Applied Sciences, Applied Science University, or a normal university, you can move to Finland. Finland is accepting families. 